Um, what do you make of the mood or the tone of the speech of the president um, during the United Nations General Assembly, the 78th session? Um, I watched the president delivering his speech and the white government listened to the AYV, where the president also the talk. And I think um, um, the, tone, the tone of the speech is uh, something um, we could describe as grandstanding. We, um, 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 psychologists, they would say that grandstanding, where somebody is, uh, the, uh, the make tough, the make tough, nah, like uh, the president do. For me, when I read the speech again, I able to shred out um, four issues. The president talk about issues back home whether those issues are reality or, or they are just mere rhetoric or to present as um, the previous speaker say appearance of Sierra Leone being doing good in some area is another aspect if you look at the intro of the speech the president talk about justice opportunity for all back home is that the case that's what they happen as alone we we'll get justice you take a look at um, the matter of Lara Taylor Pierce, the, the suspended auditor general. We in matter don't they? A tribunal they look at, look at them for almost now two years, going to two years. Is that justice? Go to ordinary Israelians, they will seek justice. Now, the judiciary, some people, and they send their remand for over five years, they demand. Then, case no, they come up. Is that the justice for all the president is saying about? Would they live in a country? Who say they sack people and because of their last name, cleaners, because of your last name, we're not responsible for me, not Dixon. I'm not responsible for who say they born me. I'm not responsible for get that name. But well, this they happen as alone. This is a reality happening in Israel. The president talk about health care, job opportunities. These are, we are, we, we all never see, even, you go to some government hospital for even get gloves, it's difficult. I always can remember, remind them, Sierra Leoneans of a lady, a very brilliant lady, maybe the work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we sent them by now. They don't excel. Nyanda, Nyanda Rujas, we, because of glove not at the four military hospital, and some basic things, he died. Many of Nyanda who just in the look at that pregnant woman recently. Is that the better health we are talking about? Um, look on to other issues where the president mentioned. Another thing was shared out now the Africa and Equus position. Uh, the president says Sierra Leone raises its voice alongside our Equus community, expressing unequivocal dissent towards an extra constitutional changes of government. Such challenges to the very bedrock of our democracy threaten the stability of individual nation and the fabric of the collective African identity. I think for Africa for grow, I think most African, Africans believe in them. Uh, they watch um, Afro Barometer the report on democracy and military good. About 67% of Africans still believe in democracy. Mm -hmm. And uh, which means uh, this particular statement, it is in place. But coming back to reality, the president says Sierra Leone joined the voice. Yes, he joined ECOWAS for condemn. But we see who said the president <coughs> was the first and the only African head of state. We don't visit uh, uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel uh, uh, Mamadi Dumbuya, which is a tacit endorsement. We see again, Colonel Mamadou Dumbuya don't move. Now, now, now Sierra Leone are the only African, uh, uh, democratic African country they don't move into. With a huge military paraphernalia around them, which is also a tacit endorsement of. So, if I, where well, would they make them beautiful speeches here? How would they tell them with reality? The president talk about a real stability and lasting peace. Do not come from resisting threats or building defenses. Instead, they arise from genuine open conversation. Have we ever had open and genuine conversation, Israel, since this president came into power five years ago? If, like, what Tomo Dixon they talk to, they don't say, ah, Tomo Dixon, APC, APC element, I'm making the talk so. That person, I left that man there. 
Have we ever had a genuine... Um, not to say Sierra Leone as a nation, not to get conversation. No. In Pakaba, in terms of get the truth and reconciliation after the war, we make brilliant recommendation in the... And as Koma, in terms of what they call the transformative conference. We don't say we don't get conversation. We had the transformative conference. Where for put Sierra Leone in a position of a moody income country in 2035. Ask whether that transformative conference document who signed it. That was that uh, process was led by a very brilliant um, Sierra Leonean who is late now. He worked he, he worked for the UN and rose to the to, to high prominent position, MacLeod. I think even in we do this, we also get the cultural review committee. What do we end up with? We end up for rejects about ninety percent of the progressive recommendations. So we get conversation, but whether we conversation then genuine oh. is another thing. And sometimes when you come out and speak boldly and courageously to the issues, the reality, people begin for brand you. Say you na APC or you na SLPP. So what would they see now? Would they see the rise of misfits in the social media because the people away for talk. We don't intimidate them to the level that they need to talk now. So now a misfit in social media will just sit down and say, hey, no world come on do. Because the states don't threaten voices the way them for be hard. <coughs> with people for where with people they get voices and either they use for their courage. As Pakaba say, Joe Joe is better than World War. But President Bio they call for peace abroad. They call there are many issues we for look at. We just come up by election, so we get mm -hmm. people they raise questions, the opposition not accept it. Then they say, and then they go, we don't hold genuine conversation with them. We don't sit down with them at the table for all genuine conversation with them. Then demand say we don't they talk about compromises. Then demand say what they make. We don't bend backward over for accept some of the demands. Like for example. Let's, for the sake of peace, let us publish the, 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 the aggreg unaggregated um, data of the election. Thomas Dixon, how you also want to uh, um, describe, I mean, in the first term of the president, he moves for actually hold the bin to money three for make sure they bring that, people on that, board that. and also the moves of the independent peace commission were actually being delivered although the document was not it was a classified document and so we don't know the details but then from engagements with the opposition party coming from this uh, um, last election and having other international people for come in and dialogue between the two how you go describe that is it strides to what he puts in his speech you look at, um, I think the Bintumani conference was a very brilliant idea of the government. Coming from the background of 2018 election, we are in, we went into an election like always, we came out very polarized. I think it was a good thing. But the same opposition, I think that again, we get for call out the opposition. The opposition have been refusing, they have been creating, um, they have been resisting negotiations sometimes. They refuse to attend the Bintumani conference, citing some of the things where they may cite, some of them were reality. But at least, as I say, we now go there and go talk. But now the same Bintumani conference, we should say critical voices, then they, they talk. You see, Basita Michael speak total power. Marcela Samba, at the end of the day, these people were branded. They were branded. So, the Bintumani conference born out the Peace Commission. The Peace Commission came. In the Peace Commission, where it come, the, the, for go approve the Peace Commission first, the act. I fetch to fetch in parliament. We fetch in parliament for get a Peace Commission. Even the Peace Commission Act for let the implementer according to the let the spirit and letter of the act. There is a section in the act we say from the executive sector to the cleaner position. All for be advertised. Ask if they advertise one position. A letter will be received from State House. Violating the same Peace Commission Act. Is that the way is, is that the way it creates equal opportunities? I can want for give you a job, but let's follow the rules. I want for give me party job. I go tell and say follow the rules. But even we own Peace Commission Act, we violate We see outside the Peace Commission, they do brilliant things and then be and they bring the opposition and the ruling party together for let we get a consensus 
but uh, the peace commission executive secretary he makes some statements then at that press conference that government press conference where i think say it is below the belt it is below the belt as a peace commission person as promoter the pioneer peace you get for take them what you they talk let you not out the process and sometimes People are with the pioneer peace, they know they talk until the peace is done. The peace happened because they don't want to make any statement. We go hamper the forderance of peace. So for me, to, for, for let people get me clearly, I think the Bintumani conference by President Bio is a brilliant idea. The Peace Commission Act and the Peace Commission itself is a brilliant idea. However, if the law say, let them advertise job them. On advertise them, not go see me and team picking at the law rights letter. Then they are now party picking law rights letter. We appoint them. Law go to the other area. Yeah? He said we must lift our people from poverty. Mm. And through that, that poverty, the president will make a well, demand that jobs will be created. And in response to that, the other, other jobs, uh, the, you don't see 500,000 jobs, for example, the SUMA uh, uh, group of companies back where do the international airport again, another 500,000 jobs. So who are these people being employed? If hunger still there, <laughs> if fear still they go up, people are being well punished. Fear, fear in go up one, I think, I uh, watch, uh, uh, they read USA Today. Uh -huh. um, I think fear law increased back now, USA Today, 20%. Uh -huh. I think fear in up one is a global issue. Um, two days ago, I watched um, BBC. I see we are in um, 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 the, 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 the try for acts, the OPEC nation led by Saudi. So why are you guys cutting? Okay. They don't cut production. They don't cut for the pump. So that they, they give rise to the fuel price. So for example, a barrel now is up to $90. Um, dollar. Barrel. So I think that the poor countries like Sierra Leone will have to pay the price. It will definitely affect us. Uh -huh. And owing to the fact that this government don't say they know they, they know they subsidize it again. I think say we will get fulfilled the bonds if they know they subsidize again. So at any time we we'll expect that they're coming to job and lifting people out of poverty. I think that should be one of the core functions of government for remove people from poverty. And I'm glad the way President Bio give one um, scenario where they talk about peace. See, why would the, uh, the court Desmond Tutu, Archbishop Desmond okay. Tutu, they say, would they allow people in for, would they go save the people inside the water? It's all for Luna for stop people not to come, not to fall into the water. That is exactly how can we stop this poverty? How will we remove people in from poverty? I think more people don't go into poverty. Then, President Biodo lift them from poverty in a saloon. More people have been come poor, impoverished, than more who don't come up in poverty. <coughs> I don't get statistics to that. You shall provide them. And, 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 uh, <laughs> not just talking about you, you time, you time, they can, you will no, no, no. speak to the, let you go speak to this issue. Let me, if I, I'm being genuine here. Yeah. I'm being genuine here, yeah, but so, if you look at, so 20, uh, uh, if you look at 2021 um, World Bank report, mm. On the, the indi indicators of poverty immediately after COVID, mm. they clearly depict say, <coughs> poverty. I don't get a recent report of 2023, yeah. poverty don't increase at that time. More people are into poverty than President Bio actually met. You understand? So, President Bio need for do more for lift people from this poverty. And talking about 500,000 jobs, but they are in a small country. If my brother and party get job, me, I will not say get job. He say suma five hundred thousand job. Who say? Who say then the Nalunge? Five hundred thousand job. That is the aspiration of the president now. Say one for create five hundred thousand job. And me they say if the president creates two hundred thousand job, it don't do well. Just two hundred thousand. If you able for create some, but how will you get the job then? Day? If the country is politically stable. Again, the young people, are they skilled? I remember where Africa, meaning Canada, this country, for riding a tractor, then mach every machine, then for driver. Who you know get people then? Then they go take Nagana. Then they go take Nigeria. So we, the young people, who want this job safe, get for ensure say, we open we safe. We open we mind for land. And then we left for listening to people, what they tell we say, every two, three days, we forgo protest. That, 
that, that investor who for invest 300 million dollars in a saloon if every two three days when they lock down the country you know they can mm -hmm. stability you no know so you need know a good job so with the young people let's say forget sense where somebody sit on america or na uk or na holland he say hey una come on ado una go una shut down the country una shut down this country this effect go deeper we eh, go affect we four or five years ago just imagine you employ 200 000 people you get 200 000 employment the rippling effect will almost reach another hundred thousand so we get three hundred thousand on employment if somebody they employ me and i get a better job then they pay me good salary i go for IA cleaner i go for increase um certain um, uh, minani in, in, in salary i go for employ some i go for going to businesses put people in there so that an other job we go create indirect job so me you know, you know, for rich 500,000, let's just give me 200,000 for slow sea. Well, me, I think it's a very difficult process. If we not ensure, say, first and foremost, this country is peaceful and stable. This political wranglings here and there, we, we need for NIP at the board, we need for deal with them. And when dealing with it, we need for be genuine with ourselves. Usa, we don't go wrong as the president say. Usa who don't go wrong, not for build defenses. Usa who don't go wrong, we accept say we don't do wrong. Usa who don't move, we say okay, we don't move. And then the opposition self, get for be open to dialogue. This is our country. Mm. The opposition, their government in waiting. We are not get for the present stumbling block. Anytime they want to say dialogue, stumbling block. Anytime they want to say that, they say peace, we are go pan peace business, we are create stumbling block. They say we are go pan uh, uh, census, we are create stumbling block. Una need for be open up and participate in the state's affairs. Una self get for car, una no go say una not trust all man. Una self get for car, una self to tell una who can rule. If the una can rule back the other people, learn. we know this country, knock near the left pamposi. Mm. Where this person, knock that person, they knock come back. They say begin create the same encumbrances here to development. It no go good for the future. And we pick in the future. Okay. We'll talk on, uh, on okay. especially the 500,000 jobs. Nationwide. Okay, quickly, I, I, I mentioned four um, cons things I will find out from the president's speech. And um, I go remiss if I not if I not, if I not talk about the elections review way the president said. Yeah? And I think the president will make two different statements the one to parliament and the one to the United Nations. And the leader, the one to the United Nations. Recognizing the significance of deepening our democracy, I have instituted a national uh, elect electoral system review committee to address historical challenges <coughs> in our electoral process. Since our first multi-tier general election, we are, con we are conducted after the Civil War ended in 2002, at the end day. Oh. At the country, in statement of parliament, <coughs> within the presidency in a parliament, he said, the national electoral, electoral system review committee's objective will be twofold. One, to review the prevailing legal framework related institutional and operational challenges and local and international, international um, missions, observers' missions report. To propose key reforms for institutional, institutionalizing the recommendation to enhance the operation of the entire in, 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 um, electoral architecture in Sierra Leone. In United Nations, the president they say the committee go look at historical challenges. And it's a parliament said the committee that they form for two reasons for look at the legal framework operational challenge of the 2023 election. So we need to forget all of these things in terms of trust. Trust the opposition for trust um, 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 government for going to negotiation. It's important. How would they change statements suddenly? I will go talk 80 day tomorrow the Efiba like V. I will go, I will go, I will go turn, I will go say this is not six, but to the other man, it remains for be six and not nine. So these are the important. If the president don't tell we say this committee go look at institutional challenges during the 2023 election, let him not go tell you and say, then go begin looking just like we on the issue of justice, where Francis Benkefala be tell we say for that case for the first lady, they go look at first lady from 1960. We have to look at the issues now. Observation report and day. We have to look at it. And even neck. Every election, observers report their neck, then they take into good faith. Then they use their report and day for developing themselves. So if we get a national review committee, and what do you not tell the UN? 
Now that the vice president is the chair of this committee that's supposed to be independent. And also the, 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 the president talked about American imposition to Sierra Leone with regard to visa restriction. We want some information. And Imran, they say um, there is no legitimacy crisis. I think from that, in that aspect, that aspect of the president's speech, they say the president is worried, talking about pressure. He is worried that indeed there is legitimacy crisis on the election as long as we, have, we, we, we continue to forget this impasse that will, that will continue between the opposition and the president. So the point that the president, when they interview him, accepts tacitly say something wrong with the election to the point that a diplomatic conversation was revealed. And now he tell the world, say there is a pressure that they don't introduce visa restriction and so on and so forth. So when they talk about, I think say Revgeny approach, it makes sense. Imran talk about, say, I think there was a communique. The only difference, there was a communique where the two parties, the political leaders of two, the two political parties, they signed at that time, where lead for an escoma in visit to the SLPP office. I think John Benjamin also did the same to the APC office. And also Victor Bocarifo visited the SLPP office. So there was a communique. I think we need to forget into that thing that that communique they were being, being pioneered by the PPRC then. Okay, the extension, me, because we did. Um, I, I don't want anyway, to go into the please, nuances of that. Because we actually they won out <laughs> yes. of time. Let me just take the last piece because it, it's, it's the same yes. thing. It's almost like what we did in, in the country. Like, where are, we, are we, where are we? Where are we at the moment? We don't find we're footing. But then the president in his speech said, while we stand united, it is not simply a call to maintain things as they are. Real stability and lasting peace mm. don't come from resisting threats or building defenses. Instead, they arise from genuine open conversations. True dialogue requires honesty and a genuine willingness from mm. all parties to adjust, adapt, and find mutual understanding. Everyone at the negotiating table must be ready to seek and find common ground. Lastly, in your words, how do we find a common ground? In present day Sierra Leone. How do we find the common ground in present day Sierra Leone is to have critical conversation on issues affecting us, on issues affecting our unity, on issues affecting our state, the state of being of Sierra Leone, how Sierra Leone did. We forget critical conversation. The reason why I make, I think, say critics like me and let Olu Godin important, now because if you stop critic, Cynics, then they then they rise up. Okay. We we'll stop critics. One time in our country, we get for the Sanko rise up. So we now make even let Pakaba what they say, them about they sing, sing, he say left, they let they sing. Jojo is better than World War. And by the way, let Olugodin, who was one of the best journalists in this country, Agreed. served as chair of the anti corruption advisory board. Agreed. And that would be one of the best advisory board on that Tijan Kolwe, the, the anti-corruption, indict city ministers. Now the anti-corruption for letting indict city ministers, where they see the corruption, no problem. At that time, where Olu God is, so you see how critical possible they are on site. And they push you for work. Okay. That is what we are doing. We, are, we will continue to push Imran and others. <laughs> Imran is my friend. In fact, all of them are the minister of, minister of information. They are my friend. Uh, are they, will they push you now? They will work? For the people of this country, because we oh, now work for the people of this country. Me say, say the benefit, me send a citizen, you send a citizen. Okay. We only benefit.